I think this one is the least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> How to use it? <laughs> Since I've been already here in Czechia for almost two years, I have this most favorite bread in the Philippines that I'm always eating every morning. But I just can't eat it here because there's nothing in Czechia. Ako plano for today's video kay magbuhat ko o pandisal. So my plan for today's video is I'm gonna make a pandisal. I'm not sure guys if you're familiar with the word pandisal. Pandisal is actually a typical Filipino bread. It means bread of salt and it's actually a Portuguese bread that we Filipinos adopted and now it's considered as a national bread. Though it's not um, officially as national bread but we consider this Filipino as a national bread because we don't eat it without pandisal. And we usually have it early in the morning as a snack and we really love it dipping it with the milk and we always have this quotation that wala matigas na tinapay sa mainit na kape you know what's that there's no hard bread with a very hot coffee actually i don't really know how to cook or even bake but then you know marriage can really change a person so after i came here in Czechia, i learned cooking Little by little. I had this first Filipino cuisine. I cooked it for the first time and I let Cuba's family taste it. It was sweet and sour, but what happened? You remember that? <laughs> it was very sour. <laughs> I put like the half of the vinegar. And imagine, and the vinegar here is very sour compared to the Philippines, sweet and sour. But here it was like 1,000% sour. It was really funny for me seeing um, Kuba's parents and siblings like sweating a lot eating it. I'm here as well guys helping Gwen with this kind of recipe. Also during the video I will be sharing cooking tips for you so you can improve your cooking. As Gwen was mentioning once she overloaded the food with the vinegar once you will put too much vinegar and the food is too sour, keep adding the sugar up until the taste is fine. The sweet sugar will reduce the sourness of the food. Remember... So today, I'm gonna try cooking this pandisal for the first time because I'm craving it a lot so much for a few days already. Oh, I think weeks already. And after that, I will let Kuba taste it. Challenge ni para nako if ganahan ba si Kuba ni or dili. So, that's ready. So we have milk, flour, butter, it should be unsalted butter, cheese, one egg, and salt. And then there should be breadcrumbs since we don't have, so there's no choice. <laughs> like, yeah, we need yeast as well. Do we have yeast? I don't know what it looks like. I think this one is the yeast. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> we have coconut milk as well. Ah. First, since we need milk, but the rule for this is that it should be a warm milk. One cup of warm milk. As I have a cheat code here as well video because I don't know how to make it. Cooking tip of Jacob, during the time you are warming a milk, make sure you are stirring it so it will not be burned at the bottom of the pot. I know. Okay. I think it's enough. It should not be hot, just warm. I'm not lazy. It's just that I don't like cooking in the Philippines because I don't like cooking in a dirty kitchen. That's actually a thing I'm <clears throat> super excited for once we are in the Philippines, just cooking in the dirty kitchen. Before the cooking, we have to set a fire, wait for it, everything. The cooking on dirty kitchen, I would say, takes much longer time than just in the kitchen when you have electric stove or gas stove, anything. But the wipe is different, it's different. That's that amazing thing on cooking. Three tablespoons sugar, three. Two teaspoon. You know what's the difference between this one? This is a tablespoon and this is a teaspoon. No way, really? Yes, Who told you that? You don't know this. <laughs> Instant yeast, two teaspoons, two. It should be inside, but it's all outside the bowl. Sorry! Cooking tip of Jacob number four. Anytime you are using yeast Stop and putting it. it in a warm kind of liquid, make sure that milk or water is really not too much hot because once you will, once you will put the yeast into the very hot water, 
you will kill all those mushrooms because yeast is actually kind of mushroom it's not hot it's just warm yeah it is I mean, egg. one egg what's this there's something on the egg rule number five you should always check the egg it should be like it might be spoiled i know what you will say <laughs> correct <laughs> jacob's <laughs> advice number five gwen already mentioned it because i know that i'm proud because it has a point imagine you will prepare a dough for a bread for example five kilos you are already working on it putting eggs inside you are done putting for example 10 eggs inside and you are getting ready to put there the last one and the last one will be spoiled and then you can throw away all that dough you've already made yeah i know that because you've already scolded me so many times of the way you say. Oh, <laughs> you have to scold people all life. It's making people grow better. Stir it. Mix it together. Alright, so it's been one hour. Now, let's see if it grew. And my t-shirt is ruined. No, it's not. There's no nothing in it. Wow. I'm so proud of myself. Wow. Now, I finished forming it into circles. So this time, I'm gonna prepare the cheese. And then... For example, this one, I'm gonna take it with me. So I'm gonna flat it. And form it into circles again. We should have breadcrumbs, but since uh, there's no breadcrumbs available in the store, so we can't put any breadcrumbs on it. Now let's put it in the oven. Okay, 15 to 20 minutes. So I think it's already cooked since it's been 20 minutes. So I will zero. Safety first. Is it cooked? What do you think? I'm so proud of myself. Me too. I wish it will be delicious. <gasps> it's hard. Body shell should not be hard. Oh, it's not. <sighs> Let's give it some rest and we'll try later. I don't know if it's the same as pandesal, but it is good. I'm gonna make something for Kuba and I'm gonna see her reaction. Oh, it's so cheesy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's dropping on the floor. And prepared something for Kuba. Let's see his reaction. Bibi? Mm. Can you try, please? Sure. Let me know what's your reaction. If you can give some comments if it's good. I think it's not really 100% the pondisil. It's in the Philippines. But you know, it's my first time and I, I'm not an expert of that. I'm impressed. Like it's not really actually a bread. When you are making a bread, you are using water instead of milk. But with the milk, it hits different. It's really? Is it your first time tasting like that? Mm-hmm. It's so cheesy, right? We should have not put so much cheese. I say, I think. If we will put the sausage inside and cheese, it will be like hamburger. But it will not be pantisol if it will put some... So it will be European pantisol. <laughs> so, if you can rate up to 10, 1 to 10, 1 is the lowest and 10 is the highest, can you rate my first ever baked bread? 11 out of 10. <laughs> In the beginning of the video, guys, <laughs> Gwen was mentioning this is the early morning snack and now she's complaining if I will sneak at night and eat that. Of course I will. Mm -hmm. It's mandatory to eat it early in the morning. The amount of cheese is amazing. It's pretty good. Oh my gosh. I'm happy! But if you are interested guys how it tastes you can also try. 
It's very easy to make actually. Even the first timer me can make it. I am very happy that I was able to share our new thing about the Philippines, especially this pandesol thing, which is very popular in the Philippines and you can actually see it all over the country from Luzon to Mindanao. Pandesal is always our top one bread, the number one bread of Filipinos. If you like this video, you may hit the like and subscribe button. See you again next time. Bye!